Today we're looking at the best bang for buck display for your Mac Mini or Mac Studio and it's this awesome display from Innocent. Only $215 right now on Amazon. It's the 27C1UD, link in the description if you want to check this display out. And the specs on this guy are it's a 4K 27 inch display, 400 nits of brightness, 98% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, 1001 contrast ratio, 60 hertz refresh rate, delta E less than 2 calibrated, one display port, one HDMI, one USB-C, a headphone jack, HDR 400, the USB-C has 65 watts of power delivery, no power brick. Today's video is sponsored by Clean My Mac. Introducing the all-in-one Mac care solution designed to keep your Mac running like new every day. It's like having six of the greatest superheroes on your side. Smart Care anticipates your Mac's needs, offering effortless automatic maintenance to ensure peak performance without ever getting in the way. It's proactive care so your Mac always feels fast, clean, and secure. Cleanup helps you reclaim valuable space, identifying and safely removing system junk, cache files, and old clutter, giving you more room for what matters. Protection keeps your Mac safe from malware, adware, and vulnerabilities, quietly defending your system in the background so you can browse and work with confidence. Performance fine-tunes your system, optimizing memory and managing heavy processes, delivering a snappier, more responsive experience in just a click. Applications put you in control of your software, letting you easily uninstall apps and manage extensions so your Mac stays organized organized and free of unnecessary bloat. My Clutter finds forgotten large files and duplicates, helping you quickly declutter and free up space without endless searching. Clean My Mac also features a menu app so that key system monitors are always at your fingertips, tracking disk space, memory, battery health, and more, so you're always in the know right from your menu bar. All these tools work together seamlessly, beautifully, to make your Mac feel brand new every day. Pricing is affordable, costing much less per month than that cup of coffee from your favorite barista. So give your Mac the care it deserves and try out Clean My Mac. Your Mac will love you for it. And use my links in the video description below to learn more. In the humble brown box, you get the plastic stand, which is plasticky. It's not the best made stand, but it works. And you get all the cables you need and a calibration report. You have height and tilt adjustment as well as pivot and rotation. You have all your ports on the bottom. And this thing is just bare bones, man. But I love that there is no power brick. That is awesome. And the scaling on this will be a little weird on Mac OS, but you can mimic the same scaling as the Apple Studio display, which works perfectly fine for the Mac Mini or Mac Studio or your MacBook Pro. And the OSD is not the best OSD in the world, but it works perfectly fine. It's very simple and very easy to navigate. Now the colors on this display are phenomenal. Out of the box, I didn't have to do any calibration. The only thing I did have to do was set the color mode to P3, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But look at the pixel density and the clarity on this display. It looks so good out of the box without any changes to it. And it just really looks great for what you get. For what you pay for this display, you're gonna get 400 nits of brightness, which competes really well against some of the best displays on the market right now, considering that you're gonna use this display for graphic design, photography, video production, and anything content related is gonna look phenomenal on this display. If you're into content creation, graphic design, photography, video production, this is a great matchup for the Mac Mini, especially at the price point. You're gonna be able to save so much money by getting this display. Your photography is gonna look really good out of the box. And I just think photographically speaking, every photograph I looked at on here looked really good. There wasn't any issues with colors being off. And one of my favorite ways to use this display also is as a secondary display with my Mac Studio, with my Apple Studio display. And I was able to rotate this into a vertical position, which allowed me to have just a lot more canvas real estate for other things, for my notes, for details and things related to this video. I was able to have all the specs now on the PPI on this display. That's the Apple Studio display right here. And this is this innocent display. And it's really hard to tell the difference. You're getting 166 PPI and 
it's hard to really tell the difference between 5K and 4K unless you really, really look close. Having these next to each other, the Apple Studio display and this 4K display, they work really well together. The one thing is the wake up time on the Innocent is gonna take a lot longer than the Apple Studio display. And that's just normal with a lot of displays when you wake it up. But once it's awoken, hey man, you can grab a drink and you can relax and you can design. Now, the one thing I do like about this display, as I was saying, is the pixel clarity on this IPS display is great but the viewing angles aren't as good as they could be. You will see the brightness go down a little bit on extreme angles. The colors do maintain their fidelity, which is good. And look at that nice professional black look. I like the build of this display. It doesn't feel too cheap, but it is definitely on the cheaper side. And this display will work great for Mac gaming. So in this case, I was able to play this game here called Stray on the Mac mini and it looks great on this display. I'm running the game at the recommended settings that the game has and it's running perfectly smooth. 60 Hertz is fine for a casual game like this and this Innocent is a perfect pairing for the Mac mini. It works really well with light games like this, story based games. I would not use this display for competitive first person shooter games though. And for content creation and anything color fidelity related, this display is great because as I said, that pixel density is fantastic and the colors are super accurate on it without the need for any calibration really. You just have to make sure you select the, the P3 color profile on the Mac. And once you do that, the colors are gonna look really good out of the box. The default color profile that it came with was a little too saturated and a little too on overdrive mode for me and so putting it back on just a default p3 color profile works perfectly fine for my use case and as i was saying for photography man this thing is fantastic it's a great pairing for the mac studio or the mac mini or a macbook pro if you need a larger display and i'm just really thankful that we have options as content creators to buy cheaper displays like like this that still execute and give us fantastic quality. The fact that the Apple Studio display costs as much as it does is something that really frustrates a lot of us that are creators. We want something that will work and give us the quality that we desire without having to spend so much of our hard earned money. And the fact that you can do that and spend way, way less and get the equivalent of a high quality art monitor is fantastic. I'm so thankful that we have these options. And I just want to say special thanks and shout out to Innocent for sending this to me to share with you, to show you guys how effective of a tool this display is. You know, that matte coating isn't too bad and it pairs really well with the Apple Studio display when you see them next to each other. Or if you want to use it as a singular display, I think it's a fantastic option. Thank you guys for stopping by to check out this short review of the Innocent 27C1UD. I think it's an incredible value for those of us looking to save some money and buy a display that's actually really, really good for what we're paying for it. When you pair this with a Mac mini, and let's say you're a student in college, man, you're gonna really save a lot and have a fantastic workstation for content creation, video production, photography, all the things that you're gonna do as a student. Well, thank you guys so much for checking this short review out. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you liked today's content and ring that bell to get notified when I drop new content and I'll see all of you guys on my next one.